We're moving again to another nice park in the area. Some folks have asked, why don't we just stay and pay for a long-term spot? Well, for us, we've already subscribed to a membership which is still cheaper than paying for a site. Besides, Chris likes booming. He says it keeps him on top of his game when it comes to the rig. It's uh, hard to talk about. There are days when he's on his A-game, others just not so much. You know, a few days before our move, something happened. It's uh, hard to talk about. Do I need to readjust or am I doing okay? But I believe that an angel came into our home and saved our lives. Now I do believe that angels come in all shapes and sizes, breeds, and sometimes it's just providence. Ours has come to us in the form of a tiny seven pound Morky. It's a little mixed breed, Maltese and Yorkie dog. Our problems as humans is oftentimes cognitive dissonance. It's like we see something happening and just don't accept in our conscious minds that it really is happening. In the three years that Grizz has been a part of our family, he has had close to 3,000 hours of training as a service dog. Like all creatures, there are days when he's on his A-game, others just not so much. It's the same with us. The weekend before we were moving, Shelly was having some issues with her health, and I had noticed that Grizz was much more attentive to her. Let's put this into context. We've been training Grizz to touch with his muzzle. You know, Shelly's hand, or whatever part of Shelly he can reach. Grizz check. Grizz check. He's only about that tall. If he detects an elevated heart rate, for the moment he was just being very attentive to her, snuggling and kisses. I was sitting at my desk editing as usual and could hear Shelly back in the bedroom coughing in her sleep. Grizz came out to me barking and pushing and touching on my legs, then running back up the ramp to Shelly. Duh. He was trying to warn us that he had sensed that something was happening with her. A moment or two later and Shelly was up with an acute asthma attack. She had used her inhaler several times without success, so it's off to the ER. Her symptoms, shortness of breath and chest pain. A burning sensation to her chest, due possibly to aspirating some fluids while coughing in her sleep. The staff at the ER was great, quick and efficient. Still thinking it was asthma, a triple dose SVN treatment was administered. which did help. Of course, all the uncertainty and the meds had her heart rate way up and Grizz would continually give her touches. Then just lay next to her as if to say that we were ignoring him. Several hours later, her blood work came back. One specifically caught the doctor's attention. Her troponin level was elevated. In the medical world, this is a warning of possible heart damage. We would be spending the night in observation.
Repeated tests showed no additional problems by mid-morning. She was released 26 hours later with a referral to her cardiologist. All night, Grizz would not leave her side other than when I would pick him up and take him out to go potty. The rest of the time, it was all about her. He is our little angel. I have no doubt that he could sense the changes in her system and was trying to tell us that something was wrong. Was it the asthma that set off the heart problem or vice versa? I don't know. What I do know is that he is amazing and I am sure that this beautiful little creature, person, woke us and alerted us to a potentially dire situation. He is my, our little angel. So selfless, loving, and attentive to her, I will be thankful to him forever. Just a little side note. The staff knew that he'd be hungry, so they brought us some chicken and green beans to share with Grizz. Wow. <coughs> we are looking forward to seeing you all again next week right here on OLT. Thank you for riding along with us on our latest move. We hope that you get some enjoyment from our little weekly adventures. If you do, you could really help us out by giving us a like, thumbs up, and maybe consider subscribing so that you don't miss an episode. So please, travel safe.